In the last video, we talked about how the Suicide Squad killed the Justice League update that was going to be coming out with Mrs. Freeze, the brand new DLC character, and a slew of new content coming to the game with Season 2 was delayed. It was initially going to be dropping on July 11th. It ended up getting delayed all the way out to July 25th, so about two weeks it was delayed. And, you know, I've already mentioned that there was quite a bit that I wasn't looking forward to with this update. The fact that we're just going to be recycling the same Brainiac boss fights again. The fact that we most likely aren't going to have a ton of story here if we are continuing the trend like we did with the season one joker dlc and just in general you know the consensus around suicide squad kill the justice league is that this game has fully missed the mark but there was one thing one thing that i did tell you guys and i was very consistent in saying it was the only thing i was looking forward to with this update and that was mrs freeze's traversal we actually just got a look at some gameplay for mrs freeze and in general a slew of information about what's coming with this new update we're going to go over that in this video a blog post was put out just earlier today by rocksteady in which they went over season two what's to come with this new update for the game it starts off here with ice to meet you for season two we're unveiling our next new addition to suicide squad mrs freeze and we got a brand new image of mrs freeze doing a frozone doing a nice man from the x-men looking kind of, looking kind of cool i'm not gonna lie again i don't love that suit i'm really not a big fan of the suit itself i'm hoping there's gonna be some costumes in the game that make her look a little more closer to the design from batman arkham city maybe even arkham origins or arkham knight i doubt we're gonna get that after what we got for the joker with his season there was like no cool costumes for the character which is unfortunate but doing doing you know the little the little ice slide that all right you guys are gonna hate me you guys are gonna hate that's that's it's, it's just, just kind of cool that's it just kind of cool okay just backspace your comment uh, you're already typing your hate comment trying to make it seem like i love this game while you're down there okay just hit the like button all right but alongside this new image of mrs freeze we actually got some information about the story for the character the origins for this new version victoria freeze is an ice cold self-sufficient survivalist who has watched her else world turn to ice as brainiac's invasion took hold by the time we meet her in season two she has spent years is the last holdout of her dying planet unwilling to leave her cryogenically frozen wife behind but after being recruited by the squad she may have a chance to save her and unleash icy hell pretty much standard fare you know very similar obviously to the mr freeze origin trying to save his wife cryogenically freezing her in this case victoria freeze trying to save her wife cryogenically freezing her now with the added caveat that she's on a dying planet she's like the last one left i'm not sure how being recruited to the suicide squad is going to lead to her being able to save her wife and i'm not sure if the game will ever actually resolve that or even pay attention to that story beat but, but we'll see one of the new additions as well with this update is going to be a new map to explore it mentions here in the blog post that hell freezes over one of the big additions in season two is the new frozen elseworld to explore you'll find a few familiar sites the skull ship in the sky and brainiac's forces are everywhere trying to take over but this iced over elseworld is full of surprises once you break through the permafrost we also got to look at some of the different weapons that are going to be coming with this update we got to look at one of the weapons as part of the killer frost infamy set it would have been really cool if killer frost was the playable character in this instance the gun does look pretty cool though you know they have definitely done a good job at designing some pretty unique guns we're also getting firefly notorious gear golden glider is getting some notorious gear parasite is getting notorious melee weapons captain cold is getting an infamy set heat wave is getting notorious gear icicle also getting notorious gear and then the trickster is getting notorious melee weapons it always makes me sad seeing these different weapons and these different designs because they're always pulling from characters where it's like oh man that character would have been really cool to play as in this game not just use weapons inspired by them but okay as i mentioned there is gameplay now for mrs freeze and i'm not going to lie with you guys all right i have said that the traversal is probably one of the shining points of suicide squad kill the justice league in a very dark cloud and it looks like with mrs freeze we are continuing that trend let me just quickly roll the gameplay clip for you guys in its entirety so you can see this in action without me saying anything you, you got again i know some people are gonna hate me i know you're gonna get mad you're gonna probably be typing your hate comments saying caboose loves this game he's defending this game this that this that make sure you're subscribed and turn on those notifications while you're down there but yeah you know what i have a ton of problems with suicide squad i have a huge issue with the story and some of the decisions made there obviously i'm not in love with some of the post-launch plans here i didn't really like the joker dlc 
I don't know if I'm gonna like this Mrs. Freeze DLC either, but I have enjoyed the gameplay. I have enjoyed the traversal and Mrs. Freeze is looking like I'm gonna be able to live out my dream of playing as Iceman in an X-Men game or playing as Frozone in an Incredibles game. And I'm kind of excited for just that, just that alone. It explains here in the blog post that Mrs. Freeze's primary traversal ability is Ice Path. Whether used in the air or on the ground, this ability gives her complete freedom of movement. She can quickly slide around behind enemy shields to flank, dash straight into the fray, or even launch herself directly skywards, perfect for getting the drop on her targets. When her Ice Path runs dry, her secondary traversal ability, Loop de Loop, will get her moving. By jumping out of the loop at different times, Freeze can zoom in different directions straight up for an aerial recon of the battlefield straight forward to dash back into the fight and straight down for a slam into the ground aerial precision is her final ability creating a mid-air ice platform for her to fire down on brainiac's forces all of these abilities work together for a fluid exciting style of traversal that's easy to pick up but hard to master i i really i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you please do not hate me for thinking that 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 little gameplay clip looks cool <laughs> it looks awesome i'm still not looking forward to a lot that's coming in this update you know and i'm not looking forward to what this mid-season update will look like i'm pretty much going to jump in play the character for a bit and that's it the frustrating part here about getting mrs freeze as part of your squad is that they're looking to do the same thing that they did with the joker dlc which people were not a big fan of it says here ice formation to recruit mrs freeze to your squad you'll need to complete a series of incursions to locate her before she can be persuaded to join elseworld missions will unlock in a specified order in season two meaning once they have been completed and you have reached episode rank 25 you can fight against a new brainiac and recruit her what this also most likely means is that if you want to skip all that and you want to spend ten dollars you can then unlock the character right away and what they ended up doing with that joker dlc which people didn't really love is they made it quite a grind to unlock the character for free to incentivize you to say you know what i'll just spend the ten dollars the character still is free to unlock if you do all the stuff mentioned there in the blog post but who knows how much time that's going to take oh and finally we did get a quick look at some of the different costumes that are going to be coming with this update mrs freeze is going to have a new skin called mrs burn and uh yeah uh don't love that also as part of the battle pass she's got a skin called shattered dreams and again i don't really love the battle pass theme here it just doesn't look great in my opinion this season's battle pass is inspired by toy man so everybody looks kind of like action figures Bruh. it it's just I don't love it. We did get a closer look at the Arkham Knight Harley Quinn skin. That one is honestly great. I'm glad that they're adding the actual look from Arkham Knight and not just something that was inspired by it. And it's funny because I'd been saying for a while now it would be really cool if they had some costumes that were from the older Arkham games. You know, I was thinking that maybe we weren't going to get anything like that for Mrs. Freeze. I was really bummed out about it. I might be wrong. The last thing about costumes here that it says in the blog post throughout the season, a number of new outfits will be available in the store. Most excitingly for old school Rocksteady fans, the Arkham family of outfits. These classic looks for Deadshot, Harley, Mrs. Freeze, and the Joker are inspired by iconic designs from the Batman Arkham games. Each of these outfits come with awesome swatches too, themed after infamous DC supervillains from the Batman Arkham series, including Solomon Grundy, Two-Face, and Ra's al Ghul. We're actually getting costumes from the Arkham series. It only took several months. The Joker's been out since March and he doesn't have just a, a straight up Arkham City look. They only recently gave him like the Titan Joker look. It, it just, it doesn't work. I'm very happy to hear though that Mrs. Freeze is gonna get an Arkham inspired costume. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing what that's gonna look like. That's probably gonna be the costume that I'm gonna wanna use for the character. Cause again, I don't love the base design, but also uh, uh, Deadshot. What? <laughs> we'll see what that's gonna look like, but you know what? Hey, the Deadshot in Arkham City, I, I imagine that that look is gonna look a lot cooler on this Deadshot. It took very long to get costumes that I, I feel like should have been just the first idea for characters that existed in the Arkham games that are also in this game. But hey, better late than never, I guess. And with that being said, I'm now gonna kick it to you guys. What do you think about the closer look that we got here at Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League second season? What do you think about Mrs. Freeze's gameplay, those skins, the weapons, all that stuff? Obviously, let's try to keep it civil in the comment section below. And with that being said, I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.